Volunteers converged on a barren patch of grassland over the weekend. Armed with shovels and buckets of wood chips, their goal was simple. Today is uh, tree planting. We're planting 200 native trees on a piece of public land, so it's town of Halton Hills land. So we work with the town for many of our plantings to have a place to put the trees in. Watson is on the board of trees for Halton Hills. The organization formed in 2020 with the goal of planting 65,000 trees. That's one tree for every person in Halton Hills. Uh, we always plant native trees. One thing we've come to realize is that certain trees are more likely to survive in these kind of circumstances where they're not going to be tended like in your backyard. We are planting white pine, uh, white cedar, red cedar, and some trembling aspen, which are all very resilient native species that we hope will establish a forest in this area that's currently just turf. Volunteers are an essential part of the team's success. Sindel Shapregi goes to school in Georgetown. She has 40 hours of service she has to provide as part of her schooling. But she says this type of hard labor is also rewarding. I think it's fun to help the community. It's special to help nature. It's not a very nice day, but we're all together doing it, so it's nice. One of the main partners in this planting is the Georgetown Rotary Club. Their members were out digging holes and agreed to handle additional watering for the trees until they become established, which improves the odds of each tree surviving in the wild by about 20%, but this isn't their first go at tree planting. This all started an initiative in 2018 uh, when Rotary International said that they wanted to plant one tree per member. So our club started planting and that year we planted 18 trees. And then every year since then we've kept coming back and planting more and more trees. And we even tackled 2020 trees in 2020. So we've had uh, quite, quite a tree planting experience and we're here today to plant another 200 trees. With uh, this sort of tree planting, uh, the whole process is we start off by digging a hole a little bit larger than the tree, uh, the, the tree itself. So just a little bigger than a two gallon pot. Uh, get the tree ready, uh, wake up the roots, put it in the hole, pack some soil around it. Then what do we do after we pack the soil? And then um, we um, put on the wound thing and then we put in the pin and then we do the whip chips. Yeah, there we go, that's it, yeah. So the round thing is a weed map, but yeah, that's, that's exactly it. <laughs> trees for Halton Hills has planted about 9,000 trees since 2020. With 56,000 more to go, they're looking for people to join the cause. You can register a tree you plant yourself on their website, and that means one less hole for them to dig. Watching barren land come alive near Georgetown's Standish Street Park, I'm Dee Glazebrook for Halton News.